Synopsis, we're ambiguous Question on legality, we have fun with this Lognosis, lie up to lognosis I don't even Oh, hello there. How's it going? I guess that's kind of a rhetorical question since I can't hear you through this uh, camera for some reason. Anyway, I feel like it's been too long since you and I have gone thrift shopping together. So I thought this episode might be a good opportunity to head out and uh, see what we find. Thrift shopping is always an adventure. In my previous thrifting episode, I covered how you could potentially supplement your income or you could flip things on eBay that you find in the thrift shops. However, for today's episode, why don't we just have fun? That is yet another dimension to thrift shopping. It doesn't have to be about saving money. It doesn't have to be about making money. It can just be about having a good time. I mean, some of the stuff you find in these shops, they're strange, awkward, downright hilarious. And you have to wonder who donated these things? Who actually wanted these possessions to be seen in public? So why don't you and I head over and do some thrifting, okay? All right, here, let me grab you. Oh yeah. An Elvis pig? And it's a piggy bank? It's an Elvis pig piggy bank? Okay, somebody really likes uh, the poppies. Leroy Jenkins! Other people's love letters you were never meant to see. And it's true, this book is full of actual, genuine love letters. Some of them are really romantic and touching, and others are silly, I guess, and others are just downright mean and evil. And it's really fascinating to see the ways in which people communicate to each other. There's that pesky sheep number eight. No wonder I can't get to sleep. A set of dancing pig plates. Now I've seen everything. What is this? They're like little ceramic ladies and little ceramic llamas. It's a drink server. You put a drink down in the middle and it pushes down on that big round button and there's a motor with batteries underneath. This is the scariest thing I've ever seen in a thrift shop. What is this? This, I can't tell if I'm creeped out by this or amazed that someone went to the trouble. I guess it's Rapunzel. I don't know, it's kind of creepy to me. Look at this guy. <laughs> oh, that's uh, that, uh, 